Good morning everyone. Today I'll be sharing a super simple yet crucial tip to elevate your quality of your design mockups. We're going to learn how to add the custom padding between the elements before handing your file off to developers. This is a small step can make a big difference to ensure that your design are implemented with precision. Let's dive right in. First, let's talk about why padding matters. Padding creates spaces between the elements, ensure your design feels balanced, clean and easy to read. Developers rely on these measurements to create your design accurately. Without proper padding, things can look messy or inconsistent. Here's an example. Notice how all these elements feel crammed together now. I'm gonna just reduce padding. It distracting and takes away from overall design. We're going to fix that by adding the consistent padding. So let's undo our changes. Make sure we're adding back how it was. If you click Option or Alt and you hover over, you're gonna see the padding between the elements. You can do the same for the, for the nav bar, for the top bar, for the header as well. So first of all, what we're gonna do for the next um, step is let's select an element and let's add our outline plugin. Let's make sure that you have auto layout enabled before you, you run this plugin. Let's select a color and click run. Now you can see that the padding has been added between the elements. Let's remove the additional ones. Now let's for the for the search bar, let's do the same. So let's make sure we have our alignment in place. Let's select different color and let's click run. So now you can see all the padding between the elements has been added. Let's do the same for our header. Let's click run. And uh, let's do the same for the nav bar. Let's select different color. Let's select this purple. Let's click run. Now you can see every single element has uh, visual padding between them. And this will help uh, developers to see how the elements work and what the padding between them should be and this will make them their life easier and they will thank you for that. In the end we will achieve the better design because all the elements are visually spaced out and all the paddings are visible so the chances the developer will miss the, uh, any paddings is very little. So you can have an option also to export your screen if you have to. This is just additional, but usually you don't need to because you're gonna have a shareable uh, links for that. That's it for today's tip. Adding custom padding might feel like a small detail, but it's one of those things that separate a good design from a great one. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share this video with your fellow designer. Until next time, happy designing. Thank you and have a great day.